The Indiana Institute of Technology, commonly referred to as Indiana Tech, is a private nonprofit, Ph.D. granting university in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It was founded in 1930 as Indiana Technical College by John A. Kalbfleisch, who was also the school's first president. The university today is organized into five colleges. The university specializes in career-oriented degree programs in business, engineering, computer science, education, criminal justice and others. In addition to the traditional semester-long class format, Indiana Tech also offers accelerated degree programs and online programs via its College of Professional Studies. Beyond its main campus in Fort Wayne Indiana Tech maintains regional classroom and enrollment centers in 13 locations, including Elkhart, Evansville, Fishers, Greenwood, Huntington, Indianapolis, Jeffersonville, Kendallville, Mishawaka, Munster and Warsaw in Indiana, and Louisville and Fort Wright in Kentucky. Indiana Tech also has two enrollment centers in the Chicago area, located in Naperville and Wilmette, Illinois. Student athletics, both organized and intramural, are an important part of student life. Indiana Tech fields 11 men's and 11 women's teams that compete in the NAIA, in which Indiana Tech is a member of the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference for all intercollegiate athletics. History Indiana Technical College was founded in 1930 as a for-profit private technical college by John A. Kalbfleisch, a former president of Indiana Business College, a for-profit business school. Indiana Tech was formally incorporated in 1931 and opened for classes that same year. The school was rechartered in August 1948 as a non profit, endowed college. In 1953, Indiana Tech purchased the 20 acre 8 .1 hectares campus of Concordia Senior College, east of downtown Fort Wayne, from the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, as Concordia was moving to its current suburban location north of Fort Wayne. In 1963 college's name was changed from Indiana Technical College to Indiana Institute of Technology. Academics <laughs> 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 Indiana Tech offers associate, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees. Indiana Tech is organized into the following colleges and schools College of Business College of Engineering School of Computer Sciences College of General Studies School of Education Law School closed June 30, 2017. Indiana Tech Law School began classes in the fall semester of 2013. The American Bar Association (ABA) granted provisional accreditation to Indiana Tech Law School as of March 12, 2016. Indiana Tech had to maintain provisional accreditation for a minimum of two years prior to seeking full ABBA accreditation. However, due to the stated loss of nearly $20 million in operating losses with anticipated losses to grow, the Indiana Tech Board of Trustees voted unanimously to cease operation of the law school effective June 30, 2017. Accreditation 
Indiana Tech is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission, while the biomedical, mechanical and electrical engineering programs are also accredited by the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology and the College of Business has received specialized accreditation for its business programs through the International Assembly for Collegiate Business Education the university is approved and officially recognized by the U.S. Office of Education and the U.S. State Department and is approved by the State Approval Agency for the Enrollment of Veterans and Eligible Persons Additionally, the university is a member of the Council for Adult and Experiential Learning and adheres to its policies and practices. Athletics The athletic teams for Indiana Tech are known as the Warriors, their colors are orange and black with white accent. The university currently is a member of the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference in the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics and offers 25 intercollegiate athletic programs the ice hockey team plays in varsity division and division 3 of the American Collegiate Hockey Association. Indiana Tech athletes have achieved notable success at the individual and team levels. Warrior teams have won 11 national titles, including in women's lacrosse and most recently in men's and women's track and field, with the Warrior men earning four straight NAIA national titles starting with the 2013 Outdoor National Championship. The women's track and field team has been similarly dominant, with the team earning back-to-back -back outdoor NAIA national titles in 2013 and 2014. Over the years, Indiana Tech teams have collectively earned 99 national tournament appearances, 34 WHAC regular season championships, and 17 WHAC tournament championships. Individually, the university has produced 451 All-Americans, 308 Dactronics NAIA Scholar-Athletes, and 32 NAIA Individual National Champions. In August 2016, Indiana Tech announced the launch of a varsity esports program that will begin competition during the fall 2017 academic year. The program will compete in the Collegiate Esports Association of which Indiana Tech is a founding member. <laughs> <laughs> Student life Indiana Tech has a variety of activities and organizations contributing to student life on campus, including many events organized each year through its Office of Student Life. The main campus features a movie theater showing free weekly features, a performing arts theater for live performances, a rec center with a bowling alley, video gaming, pool and ping pong tables and more, an art gallery featuring three to four new exhibits each year, and two main dining facilities, including a cafe featuring Starbucks coffee in its new academic center. Indiana Tech also regularly hosts outside performing arts groups and notable speakers from diverse backgrounds in education, business, public service, law and more. Indiana Tech is also home to a variety of clubs, honor societies, student professional organizations, a local sorority and a national fraternity. 
Greek organizations Sigma Phi Epsilon National Fraternity Delta Alpha Nu Local Sorority Clubs Alpha Chi Honor Society Cyber Defense Team Delta Epsilon Iota Career Focused Honorary Society Fellowship of Christian Athletes Sport Recreation and Leisure Society Green Club Book Club Professional Organizations Association for Computing Machinery Society of Automotive Engineering Engineers Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Society for Human Resource Management American Society of Mechanical Engineers Society of Manufacturing Engineers Society of Women Engineers National Society of Black Engineers Phi Epsilon Kappa Biomedical Engineering Society Indiana Student Education Association Collegiate Cyber Defense Society of Future Academy Accountants Pre-Law Society Notable alumni James R. Bard, co-owner Bard Manufacturing which, over the past 40 years, has grown to be the largest U.S. manufacturer of wall-mounted HVAC products, 2001 Northwest Ohio Entrepreneur of the Year, 2004 Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Institute Lifetime Achievement Award. Rodney Bartholomew, professional basketball players. Stanley Clemens, 61 years in telecommunications engineering satellites, manned spacecraft, network sites, aerospace, Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, shipbuilding cruisers, destroyers, amphibious warfare ships, automobile production Ford, subway systems BART, Metrorail, oceanography sonar, atomic bomb testing. He was also a lieutenant JG in the Navy during World War II. Jujuin Cooley, professional basketball player. Robert R. Featheringham, highly successful, 40-year career with defense contracting companies in the Washington, D.C. area where he worked on multi-million dollar contracts and billion dollar projects, later established Two Feathers Consulting to provide business development and management consulting services to the United States Army. Clarence. Casey. Forrest, Bell Aircraft, he worked on the X-1 and completed his career as Senior Vice President at Textron in charge of flight test for LCAC Landcraft Air Cushion vehicles used by United States Marines. He was inducted into the Niagara Frontier Aviation Hall of Fame. Joseph J. Foster III, Lt. Call USAF retired logged 5750 hours in 19 different prop turbo prop and jet aircraft and flew 1165 combat support sorties in Vietnam from 1966 to 1967 H. Robert Gill, quickly moved up the ranks at Magnavox, eventually overseeing the $50 million International Marine Electronics Division, became president of the Ball Corporation's Industrial Systems Division where he created a new industrial instruments and systems business and grew it to $21 million in sales worldwide, chairman of the board for the Boulder Innovation Center and chairman Emeritus of the Deming Center for Entrepreneurship at the University of Colorado, sought after advisor, consultant Josh Judy, Major League Baseball pitcher Lowell G. Crandall, designed Indiana's first fiber optics system Rear Admiral David J. Nash, 
33-year career in the Navy, served as resident officer in charge of construction at naval installations in Argentina, Newfoundland, and Point Magoo, California, before shipping overseas to Vietnam, where he served until 1970. By 1995, served as commander, Pacific Division Naval Facilities Command, responsible for the Navy's facilities across 11 time zones in the Pacific Command region, including command of the 3rd Naval Construction Brigade in Pearl Harbor. Named Chief of Civil Engineers, he ascended to the top of the Navy's Civil Engineer Corps as Commander, Naval Facilities Engineering Command and Organization, served as Director of Iraq Program Management Office PMO under Coalition Provisional Authority and later, as Director of the Iraq Reconstruction Management Office IRMO under the U.S. State Department, continues to serve the private sector since retiring from the U.S. Navy in 1998. Frank Oropesa, founded Transpo, an automotive voltage regulator manufacturing company that started in his garage and grew to 700 employees with an annual revenue in excess of $100 million Ronald A. Ostrovsky, worked for Boeing and was instrumental in the design and development of numerous aircraft, including the 737, 747, 757, 767, and 777, 1995 Collier Trophy Team Award for Design and Introduction of the 777, Aviation and Space Technologies Lord its Hall of Fame for Aeronautics and Propulsion in 1996, and the Daniel Guggenheim Medal for Achievement in the Advancement of Aeronautics in 1998 Young Young Paik, founder and chairman of Paco Steel and Engineering Corporation, the nation's largest producer of patented light steel I-beams, named Entrepreneur of the Year in 1999 by Ernst and Young Stanley John Puskar invented the pop-top lid and the screw-off bottle cap Adolf Vartanian, senior member of the Brotherhood of St. Andrew. Incorporated by Congress in 1908 Walter T. Weller, responsible for calibrating the instruments on the first plane to break the sound barrier and worked in Little Joe capsules that later became part of the Mercury Space Program S. Thomas Wong, responsible for creation of Shake N Bake. 